Yeah, I think it's a very special feeling. Um, I think I owed this to the team for quite a while now and it finally came off, so it's a good feeling. Uh, first of all, getting a win as well, a special moment for us as a team. But yeah, um, I think it's a special special day out for me today. It was outpouring emotions in the middle just after you got the 100. Uh, well, what strike to your mind after getting that run? Uh, just pure emotion. I wanted to cry actually, so um, it's my first 100 for them again. Um, like I said, I felt I owed this to the team for quite a while. Um, so yeah, just pure emotion and happiness. Yes. In the previous game, you missed out on a 50 by round out and you looked very dejected when you're going back. Uh, do you think, did it strike in your mind when you were in the middle today that another landmark? Not really, no. I'm not really a big guy on landmarks. Um, as long as you can contribute to the team's performance and everything, um, landmarks aren't always, always going to help you win, or win games. So yeah, I, don't, I didn't think about it too much today. Um, I mean, what happened in the past, you can't change it, so... You're on the 11th over. Uh, did, when did it strike that you could raise that marker? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was in the 17th over. I thought to myself, okay, there's about 20 balls left, and I know what I can do, so I think I realised then that I'm still on 400 here today. You're playing a, a lot of unorthodox shots, like reverse flips and everything. Uh, were, were you confident uh, after that uh, big over uh, in your second over? Yes, um, yeah, it's, look, it's my type of game to go to the reverse sweeps, laps and all those things. So if I just back myself and continue doing it, doing it I believe I'll get a lot of success from it. Uh, Gerard was uh, absent today. Any injuries or any concerns about his fitness? Yes, a um, little niggle for Erasmus, but um, I'm sure he'll bounce back from it and be ready hopefully by the next game or the next or the second to last game. This is also the fastest T20 century. Uh, were you aware of that when you were in the middle? No, actually I thought Kushal Mala had the fastest 29 balls, um, but yeah, some guys came afterwards and told me that it's the fastest and I didn't want to believe them, but yeah, now I've heard it is, so I think it's a special feeling and special special day for me. Congratulations and all the best for this game. Thank you very much. Thank you.